the city of brotherly love. MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. It's the finale of this four-game series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Philadelphia Phillies. With that, we welcome you inside the broadcast booth. Matt Vaskirchen here with you, alongside me are Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Eric, as we get set to finish off this four-game series, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened so far. Yes, it's been an entertaining series to watch so far. Crowds have been very energetic, and I think we're looking at another good ball game here in the finale. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. As Ron Renicki has his guys lined up like this. They'll go to work against the most valuable player from the 2008 World Series, the change-up specialist left-hander Cole Hamels. Scooter Jeanette makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. And the first pitch of the night here is taken for ball one, and we're officially underway in Philadelphia. These Phillies, Eric Karros, as they enter play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. After the way this series started for them, if they could get out of here with a split, you bet they sign up for that. That was an important win for these guys yesterday, so they'll look to make it two in a row here. Now the 2-0 home. Fouled straight back. Ready with the 2-1. Hit hard but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Two two pitch on the way. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Elian Herrera waits on deck. Full count pitch on its way. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Yep, good start out there on the hill. Nice strikeout. Give you a good positive outlook to build on going forward. Elian Herrera will dig in here. Now here's the first pitch. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. One out, nobody on. Now here it comes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here it comes. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. And now as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Here comes a one-two. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Now another one-two. Lays off two and two now. Just getting started here in Philly. Sets the two-two pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. We saw this in his last start. He just hasn't been able to find that put-away pitch with two strikes that you've got to have at this point. Here's the full count offering. And he takes strike three called. And it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. Well, nobody in that dugout is going to give him high five for striking out. But, you know, at least he forced that starter to expend a lot of energy here to get the job done. You know, in the first inning, that won't be lost on his teammates. Jonathan Lucroy will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first.
First pitch coming. And a fastball is off the plate away. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 0. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. 2 0 on the way. Grounded foul off to the right. Two one. And he gets under this one and in fact breaks his bat as this one's popped up. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So a spotless top of the first for Cole Hamill. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. They'll go to work against the man you see there, veteran right-hander Kyle Loesch. And there you see a look at the defensive alignment behind him for the Brewers. Ben Revere will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. And E.K., as we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, they're starting to open up some ground at the top of the division. And when you're setting a good pace at the top, it can be frustrating for those teams that are chasing you because they start thinking, what do we have to do to make up some ground? Let's go, Philly. Now the pitch. Nope. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. The one two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Two two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another 2-2. Two, two. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full. 3-2. and two. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. With that, time to call up the scouting report and give you a better indication of what types of pitches and speeds we'll see moving forward from the 36-year-old right-hander. Chase Utley will stand in now. Just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. Here's the first offering. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. Throw to first and Utley's retired. Two gone. Oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Maybe even a half heartbeat considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way. He winds up making the play. 
Michael Franco will get his first shot at it here. He's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Now here's the first pitch. This is foul right side. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Two out, nobody on. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We played an inning. No score. Chris Davis will stand in now. He drove in all three of his club's runs in that ball game a night ago. Davis. First offering on the way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice, easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. The next pitch. And this one's over for a high strike. One and one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but... You're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. Here comes the one-two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Here he comes on two and two. Swing and a line drive to left. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Just an outstanding play out there by the outfielder. And the guy who appreciates it more than anybody is the pitcher. Because if that drops in, you're looking at some trouble. Here's Aramis Ramirez. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 11 home runs and 42 runs batted in. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. The 1-0 home. A high strike there and it's 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. No score here as we play inning number two. The 1-2 one and two with one away. Ball two. Two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. A right, hitter's got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing it. That misses for ball four. Down to first goes Ramirez. 
That's an easy take right there on the 3-2 pitch. Not all that inviting at all. You want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead, now, he's on with one away. Gerardo Parra will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. First pitch on the way. Runner goes for second. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, and this goes right past him. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Yeah, this ball might have caught him in between hops. Or he might have been unsure which way to turn his glove, over or under the ball. Instead, it just goes right through him. Stepping in now, Matt Clark. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash them in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early here. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Now a chopper to first might only get one. As he out at the plate. The decision to send him boils down to one thing. You're facing a guy that's very likely not going to give you a whole lot to work with. You've got to take your chances when they come around because there probably won't be too many of them. This time, didn't pan out. In now, Luis Sardinius. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. One home run, nine driven in. Two men are on with two men out. On, the 1-0 pitch. That's and he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. 2-0 count, the pitch. Too tight with that one. 3-0. And, oh. and that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2-0. and oh. Now it's 3-0 and oh and Tide is not working in his favor. Now the 3-0 and oh offering. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. Two down, runners at first and second. Here he comes, 3-1. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. That's a good job right there with two away because if nothing else, you get your pitcher to the plate here in this inning so you don't force him to lead off your next inning offensively. Kyle Loth. Stand in now with the bases loaded, two away, and a chance to really help himself out. And at the very least, he's got to focus on getting something in play. He can really help himself out with just a simple single here. There's nowhere to put this next guy. First pitch coming. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and the Brewers are turned away as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Darren Ruff will stand in for the first time here. He's got that average up over 340 here entering play. First pitch coming. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. Throw by Ramirez is in time for the first out. 
Well, and that's exactly what you want to do right there. Get yourself another ground ball, and that's a good way to start the second as he gets the easy ground out. Adrian Beltre will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. First pitch to him. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. Come on, the 1-0. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Now the 2-0. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Whether you like it or not, now that you've seen what the strike zone's going to be like, you're going to have to make an adjustment. A 2-1 offering. Now a swing and another chance at third. Aramis has it. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Well, everything looked okay here on the pickup and transfer, but then you see him just fire this thing straight into the box seats down there. That's going to be scored an E5 and a lucky souvenir baseball for one of the fans. Salvador Perez will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total, and as you can see, he currently sits third in the National League in that category. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And there are the league leaders in RBIs that we referenced a moment ago. Pause. Now the pitch. Lays off the slider, and it's 1-1. One and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. He's set, now the pitch. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. The one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. Here comes a 2-2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Dominic Brown waits on deck. Three and two, here it is. Perez will lay off, and he'll reach. It's ball four. For as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Dominic Brown steps in now. pitch to him. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. Come on, Phil. one oh. Two and oh now. And now on two and oh, you can't just lay a fastball in there. He could make this a 3-0 game before you know it. First and second now, one man out. 
Here comes the 2-0. Now both runners on the move. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. Now the 2-1 pitch. And both runners are off again. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The 2-2 coming. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success. No free ride. You've got to make these guys earn it. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Rounded sharply here and through into right field. And that becomes the first hit for either side here so far. And this is something they've worked on in the batting field. Taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now and you're seeing some definite results. Chase Darnot will take his cuts now with a big opportunity to give his club the lead here. Here's the first offering. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And I think he's going to have to summon up every bit of his experience to get out of this one. Uh, he's certainly been through it before. If anybody can do it, he can. Bases are loaded with only one out. Come on! He's set. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Ah, uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. He's ready now. The pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's 1-2. and two. Big pitch here, 1-2. and two. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Try again, one, two. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Oh, what a time to come up with the first strike out of the ball game. And now with two away, one more out, you get out of this and strand a couple guys in scoring position. Paul Hamels will stand in now with the bases loaded, and this is one at bat. He doesn't want to just throw away. He can really help himself here. Yeah, hitting is not really in a lot of pitchers' DNA, but you're right. He can find a way to just find a hole with a ground ball. That could be huge. Now the first pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and oh. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. The 1-0. -oh. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage, but you've got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3-0 and oh to him. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Come set, now the pitch. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Oh, it'd be a big letdown if they get nothing out of this. But they're a strike away from not coming through. The 2-2. Two -two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Two complete. Still scoreless here on the show.
Scooter Jeanette. It's ready to go here as we begin the third. Second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. The pitch. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And, and the pitch. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. Now another 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a great job to lay off. Pitch on the way. Curveball, or maybe even the circle change there. Two and two regardless. Here's the two and two home. Woo! And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, after getting ahead here, 0 and 2, you know, he nibbles for a couple pitches and then finally he just says, all right, I'm through with this. So he goes back to the fastball, just blows it right by him. Standing in now, Elian Herrera. As he swings and pops this one foul off to the right out of play. Now here's the pitch. Fastball called for strike two. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Here it comes. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Rough is over and he tucks it away for the second out. And this is right where they wanted this. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop-up, and that's exactly what they got. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. Now the 1-0. Here's a hard hit ball up the middle, and Hamels can only watch it as it's into center field for a base hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed 1-2-3, but he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Chris Davis will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but any time you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Now here's the first pitch. And a ball, 1-0. and but Now you got to regroup after the two-out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so... The inning's not over yet, not by a long shot. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Get me out here. 1-0 on the way. Up top, it's 2-0. And you go back to the call on that very first pitch, how important that was. Now instead of a 1-1 one -one count, you're at 2-0 with a really dangerous hitter up there. The 2-0 on the way. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Here comes the 2-1. 
And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Ramos Ramirez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Third inning, no score to this point. Now the 3-1 pitch. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. And now three, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Milwaukee leads one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Ben Revere will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Now the first pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and one oh on the way. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And that will end up a foul ball. Ready now on one and one. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the one two. Line hard. Foul. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Here he comes again, 1-2. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2-2. Two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a 1-2 pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Now the 2-2 pitch. Here we go. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. So he's on base here to kick off their half of the third as we take a look at the league leaderboard in terms of hits. And as you see there, he finds himself in sixth place in the category in the National League. Chase Utley will stand in now. He'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Here's the first offering. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Yeah, and even though that's a tough one to get on top of, I think he'd say he got away with one right there. That's in too good a location when the matchup's not in your favor. From the stretch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. A runner at first with no outs here. He's ready. Now the pitch. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. Mm, tough pitch to lay off there with two strikes. I'm not sure if that was a good take or whether he just got fooled on a changeup and couldn't pull the trigger. The right-hander deals on one and two. And a bouncing ball, foul. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's another one, two. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. 
And you wonder if sometimes he was just getting a little too preoccupied out there with the speed at first base, and he totally loses focus on the guy at the plate. And now that essentially is going to work like a stolen base, and he's in the scoring position now in the wild pitch. Here now the 2-2. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Davis comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Well, you know he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit. And it's an easy play out there in left field. Michael Franco will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Here's the 1-0. Runner's on his way to third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Normally, when you see a guy steal third base, it's because he got a nice walking lead. Really got out there nice and far. But here, he had almost no lead whatsoever when he made his break. Very fortunate to get away with that one. The 1-1. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball. Now the veteran deals on one and two. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Well, chalk another one up for that pitcher. He's used to breaking bats, and he'll give you a little stare down after doing something like that every once in a while. Try again, one, two. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. That's all you got to do there. Put the ball on the ground. Use the big part of the field, and that's going to get that first run home from third base. Darren Ruff try and start over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground out. First pitch coming. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Here's the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-1 pitch on the way. Swing and a liner, but this will be a foul ball. One, two. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Aramis Ramirez will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Third baseman number 16, Aramis Ramirez. First pitch on the way. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. Revere is under it to put it away, and it's a quick one pitch out to begin the fourth. You know, now that we've made it, just about the midway point of the season. This is where you start to see a little bit of separation between the haves and the have-nots. And I think we can pretty safely say that these guys are in it for the long haul. Leadoff man retired. Here's Gerardo Parra. First offering on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. 
you can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. No runs, just one hit. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Now here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hamels ready with the 1-1. One, one. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. Here it comes, 2-1. and one. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Two-two pitch on the way. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Into the box now, Matt Clark. As he'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. One one on the way. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Come on, Phillies, let's go. Here's the lefty's offering on one and two. This is hit on the ground, but foul. Two out, nobody on. Another 1-2 delivery. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. To his left, he's up with it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So Hamels had it work in that half of the inning. Still working on a 1-0 lead. Adrian Beltre will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. One zero pitch now. And he'll take this one as well. It's now 2-0 to the Philly third baseman. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. The 2-0. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And a good throw gets him one gone. Salvador Perez will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. First pitch coming. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Here's the one one. No oh offer God. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. Come on. Here's the two one pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. 
throw gets him, two down. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys showing good but not great fastballs. 92 for one, 91 for the other. Dominic Brown will dig in. He singled his first time around. And here's the first pitch. Now a change up here to start things out, but that'll dip a bit too low, and it's 1-0. Oh. Here's a 1-0. Oh. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. He's come at him with all off-speed stuff so far. But if I'm at the plate, if I'm hitting, I'm thinking he's going to have to throw a fastball here sooner or later. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Here we go. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Three, two, here it comes. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. The next three, two. This is a hard hit ball back up the middle, and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for the base hit. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with the base hit. Stepping in now, Chase Darno. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. One one, grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. Here comes a one two. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Again, a 1-2. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. One left for Philadelphia. But they lead it 1-0. Luis Sardinius will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Luis Sardinius. First pitch to him. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. The next pitch. Look out. 2 and 0 now. Sometimes if you let that change up go too soon, it'll take off on you. He's lucky that didn't hit him. Here comes the 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. 
good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. Line to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Kyle Loth will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him with a breaking ball this time. Misses down and in for a ball. 1-0. and Next pitch from Hamels tonight will be number 73 for him in the ballgame. Yeah. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. No runs, just one hit. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now the 1-2. Misses, ball two. Here he comes on two and two. Fastball, strike three calls. He couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Yeah, it's opposite number there. And I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Scooter Jeanette will stand in now. A punch out victim twice. So you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game. and You'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Here comes the 1-0. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that's going to get down out there. Yeah, and guys, there's a look at his line through the first few innings. Pretty dominant so far. Just the second hit he's allowed tonight. And the first one didn't wind up hurting him at all. So we'll see if he can get out of this inning as well. Elian Herrera will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. A runner on first with two away. The 1-0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. That's just another cut fastball trying to work that thing back to the outside corner. But he's not getting that call right now, nor is he getting guys to chase it. Come on, now, Here's Hamels now on 2-0. and oh. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Yeah, it looked like he was well on his way to a quick inning, but now a hit and a 3-0 and oh count have turned the tables on that idea. Rio is on the way. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Not turned loose there. I thought that he might be swinging with two away, but apparently not. Here he comes on three one. Fouled back.
the 3 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Full count offering on its way. That's hard hit back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Brewer strand one. It remains one nothing. Paul Hamels will come forward now to start things out against his opposite number. And these two have matched each other pitch for pitch here through the first half or so of this ball game. Yeah, I think we had an idea runs might be hard to come by. Well, maybe not this hard to come by, but both of these guys have been just about flawless. And now pitch on the way. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. The 1-0. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball and a strike. Here comes the 1-1. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Ben Revere will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Now the first pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. And the pitch. Here we go. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Now here's the pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. The one, two. And this will be fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. If there's one thing base dealers don't like, it's when you throw at their legs. Now, that's their meal ticket you're messing with. 2-2. Two, two. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Here comes a 2-2. Two, two. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. Two, two, one more time. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Keep in mind now, the longer this at-bat goes, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning out there. Now the payoff pitch home. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. And after going hitless in last night's ball game, he's turned things around here. That's his second hit of the ball game, and he's in at second base with a well-hit double. Chase Utley will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. 
and I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. And he is in there. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a 2 to nothing lead now. So they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. Michael Franco will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. First pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw in time at first for out number two. Darren Ruff will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Now here's the first pitch. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. Has a look. Now the pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Now the 1-1. One, one. Down low again, it's 2-1. And, and he continues to labor here, coming up on 100 pitches in just the fifth inning. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now the 2-1. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Phillies two, and the Brewers nothing. Jonathan Lucroy will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. First pitch coming. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. The 1-0 home. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Now the one and one pitch. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Here he comes on two and one. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. And with the tying run in the on deck circle, the question. Does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. And this is lined into left field, and the leadoff man will reach. It's a base hit. One of the first times on it, if they want to get back in this thing. Chris Davis will dig in now. Hitless in his two at bats so far. Go, 
first pitch on the way. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Here's the one, one. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Very patient here to start the at bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Here comes the one, two. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop up at that. This is way up there. Darno is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first out. And into his sixth inning of work now. Let's take a look at the breakdown for him so far. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring forth a powerful third baseman, Aramis Ramirez. Here's the first offering. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Pause, now the pitch. And a ball and a strike now to Aramis as that pitch misses. Well... You know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Now the 1-1 one -one to Ramirez. Good riding action to that thing, and it's balled in two strikes. Runners on first with one down. Come on, guys. Turn two. The one and two with one away. Lined hard to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. You take a look there at the line from our starter. I mean, basically, he's allowed three singles so far, and that's it. They haven't been able to mount any real opposition against him so far. Gerardo Parra will stand in 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. He's set, now the pitch. And he drops that one in for strike two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Two out with the man at first. He's ready now, the pitch. And this is hit hard up the middle. And no shot that time for Utley. It's by him into center for a base hit. Well, that's not a hanger either. He goes down and beats a good pitch on two strikes. And you see, this pitch, it's falling out of the strike zone, but he goes down and manages to get good wood on it. Matt Clark will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. First offering on the way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And for Milwaukee, this is a spot where you really need that one key hit. 
Two men are on with two men out. He's set, now the pitch. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And now at the plate with a 2-0 and count, it's not just, hey, this has to be a strike. You've got to look for one pitch in one location and then let it rip. Hitters count 2-0. Oh. This ball will be chopped foul. Two down, runners at first and second. Ready on two and one. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Fastball here? I think it has to be. You're licking your chops if you're the hitter. Three and one, you can't walk the bases loaded. Bail and whale. One on the way. And, oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a cold strike two now. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. Full count pitch on its way. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Rob Wooten will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 47, Rob Wooten. Adrian Beltre will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and the right-hander have begun to stretch it out. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Well into the outfield turf as he makes the stop. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first out. Well, I think he may have taken the tougher of two approaches right there. I think he did have time to square his shoulders and try to flip it the first that way. Instead, he chooses the much tougher spin throw. But he still manages to put that throw right on the money. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. one -oh. In tight again, and it's to 2-0 oh now. Now the 2-0. -oh. In there, 2-1. The 2 1. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. That's his strength. He wants to try and come in and, and jam you, so you've got to be ready to try and turn on something. One out, nobody on. The 3 1 is on the way. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Dominic Brown will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. First pitch coming. And he starts him out with a splitter for a called strike. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Waits, now the pitch. And that misses one and one.
already now on one and one. A little bit outside, two and one. And that's not a bad spot. Just go ahead and stay out there. Don't come down the middle because we know he can hurt you. Ready with the 2-1. Called strike that time, and it's even at 2-2. Two two. The 2-2 two -two coming. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Here's the two and two offering. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Yeah, not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now the three and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will not be caught, it's a foul ball. The next 3-2. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded 3-2. and two. Payoff pitch coming. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Full count pitch on its way. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Runner at first here, one man out. The 3 2, one more time. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. And you know, long at bats like this are bad for any pitcher, but for a relief pitcher who's only going to come in and give you maybe 20 to 30 pitches anyway. Well, when you use up that many bullets on one hitter and still don't wind up getting the guy out, well, that's a tough pill to swallow. Chase Darnot will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And here's the first pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. The one-one home, and he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Here's the one-two. To two, two balls and two strikes now. The two-two. Swing and a liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right now. Neil Cotts will come on now really needing that double play ball as the bases are loaded here with only one man out. Into the box, Cole Hamels. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And this guy's been in situations like this so many times before. He's got plenty to call on upstairs to try to help him work out of this jam. Look out for the double play. Comes set, now the pitch. 
Opposite field to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't sure they were going to send him on that ball. This was hit awfully hard, but they decided to roll the dice and take a chance to score him, and it's going to wind up paying off. Ben Revere will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Here's the first pitch to him. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. and oh. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. One one pitch on the way. Hey. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. And now here one and two. This is where you need your best pitch. You've got to strand that runner out there at second base and keep the deficit just at three. Big pitch here one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Here's the two and two home. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Well, that pitch is so low and such an easy take that you basically waste that opportunity you had on two and two. Two men are on with two men out. Three two pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Brewers nothing. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front. And it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Luis Sardinius will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Luis Sardinius. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hamill's ready with the 1-1. One -one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Not the first time he's felt the squeeze tonight. Yeah, he's looking and saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? The 2-1 home. There's the cold strike he was looking for. 2-2 two and two now. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3-2. and two. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Martin Maldonado. Move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Strike. 
swinging a ball hit on the ground but a foul ball here 0 and 1 the pitch ball one the one one swung on and hit in the air to left And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Go back. Number two. Second Scooter. Scooter Jeanette will dig in. He singled his last time around. Now the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The 1-0. That Ball command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. Here's the 2-0. 3-0 now. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. He probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, better your chances of getting a mistake and no doubt about this one it's in there three and one <laughs> yeah no mistake about that one that one's right there two out nobody on now the three one and this one misses high for ball four and they have themselves a two out base runner with two way, you're just looking to get on base somehow, especially when this guy hasn't given you anything so far. So, at the very least, make him work out of the stretch and throw a few more pitches here. Elian Herrera will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. First pitch to him. In there, no balls and a strike. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Has a look, now the pitch. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this, with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. From the stretch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. They trail it here, three to nothing. Brandon Kinsler will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Shea Sutley will step in. An RBI single this last time around. Action now with the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. But an Adam Bull right to him for the first down. Yeah, and late in a close game like this, that would have been a good leadoff base runner to have. And he definitely hits this ball hard. It's just pretty much right at the glove. Standing in now, Michael Franco. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitch on the way. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. As a manager, you love your relievers to come in and give you plenty of strikeouts. 
but I'll tell you what, there isn't a manager alive that'll get upset when you come in and get two outs on three pitches. Darren Ruff will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Here it comes. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. One one on the way. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. The right hander deals on one and two. Hard sinker misses two and two. Well, that's a pitch you really have to learn to take against a guy like this. But even if you make contact, you're just going to get something in on the label. So that's a great take. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And that's through, a base hit. A good job there of making a two-strike adjustment. Very compact there. He uses the middle of the field. And this just finds its way into center for a base hit. Adrian Beltre will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. Over three to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. the first pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Now the 1-0. Another sinker here, but this one's over for strike one. Boy, they've done a really good job against this guy so far. And it's the first time in the series that they've held him without a hit. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that misses 2-1. and one. Well, now he's got to be saying, this is the wrong time for that strike zone to start shrinking. You need that to be a strike. A runner on first with two away. Two, one. Nope. Oh, and okay. not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And whatever you do, you can't let that previous call eat at you. You've got to come back with your best pitch here on three and one. The three, one coming. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And it looked like he was on his way to breezing through this half inning. But then a base hit, now a walk here with two away, and that's opened the door for these guys to maybe do some damage after all. Number 32. And we'll have a new pitcher take over here as it's the former first-round selection out of Miami, right-hander Chris Perez. Salvador Perez will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. First pitch coming. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Uh, good pitch right there, right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. Pause, now the pitch. 
And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He's set, now the pitch. And a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. The Phillies leave a couple, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Jonathan Lucroy will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Jonathan Lucroy. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the first offering. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Boy, I'll tell you, it has been like this all night long. The defense has just been airtight, and here's another super play to take away a hit. Here's Chris Davis now. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now, they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. 1-1 one, one pitch is lifted in the air out to right. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. Ramos Ramirez will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. First pitch on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Go get him. 1 0 on the way. Please. And that's inside and a bit low, anyways. It's 2 0. Oh, Here's Hamels now on 2 0. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. I think at this point, a two-out walk isn't the worst thing in the world. You'd like to avoid it if you can, but this can be a dangerous spot if you just root one. Get a piece of the a 3-0. Wait. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Here comes the 3-1. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. A payoff pitch one more time. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Here's the full count offering. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Well, neither offense has really made a huge impact so far, but finally maybe a little sign of life. He drives this ball for two bases, and even though they've had trouble scoring runs, they're not out of this thing by a long shot. A couple more of these could get him right back into it. In is Gerardo Parra. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. 
And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back in Philadelphia right after this. Jim Henderson is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Jim Henderson. Dominic Brown will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and you got to make sure if you come inside, you come way inside. You leave it out a bit, he's liable to hit that thing in the second deck. one -oh on the way. Ball and this one's back. too far inside. Ball two. Now the 2-0 home. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. But a foul ball and it's 2-1 and one now. Now the 2-1 pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Two two pitch on the way. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Here's another two two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. One thing that man right there will not tolerate leadoff walks, especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. Three and two, here it is. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Tyler Thornburg is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Chase Darneau will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. First pitch coming. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering it's 93 that time. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to from the belt the pitch set up away with the changeup but it's one and one a runner at first with no outs here here's the one one pitch down low two balls and a strike A 2-1 offering. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. The 3-1. Swing and a high chopper. One there. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Well, this is a good job to get the first out of the play, but the return throw leaves a little to be desired. That'll wind up being a huge throwing error that allows the batter to reach second. Xavier Paul is going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher, Hamels. 
And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. Here's the 1-1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Here comes a 1-2. Now a ball hit foul off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. He'll try again, one, two. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. One out and a runner on second base. Now another one, two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Here now the two two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Wow, what an at bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. Now the three and two pick. And he lays off ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Ben Revere to try again. Two for four in the ball game. First offering on the way. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And over the scoreboard, home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. They wanted this pitch to be down and in. Catcher sets up inside, but look where this thing winds up. Leaks right back over the heart of the plate. A real mistake in location there, and it winds up costing him. Jonathan Broxton is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 51. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. That's a two-seam fastball right there. It looks to the hitter like it's going to be inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. Now here's the pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And sometimes you can mistake being patient for being passive. I mean, unless he was really fooled there, that's a pitch he needs to be swinging at. And the pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there.
one, two. And that misses two and two. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Mike Franco will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. First pitch coming. Uh, and there's no doubt Broxton really bringing it, and it's strike one. Three runs already home here. Now here it comes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two seamer running in. Come on. Now the one two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Another good inning here for the Phillies, and the brotherly love is in abundance now. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Jake Diekman will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Matt Clark will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's the 1-0. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One one. Hard to call that an off-speed pitch when it's a changeup at 88. That's a fastball for a lot of guys in this league. Now the 1-1. One one. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. Here comes the 2-1. Two, so it's 2-2 two two now. Sets the 2-2 two, two pitch. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Another try at 2-2. Two, two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Well, I'll tell you what, this won't look like a whole lot in the box score, but anytime you can make a pitcher use up eight pitches to get you out, 
You've done your job as a hitter. Luis Sardinius will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. And here's the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. One out, nobody on. One oh pitch now. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here comes the one one. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Uh, you don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Here it comes, two and one. Nope, Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. Bases are empty, one man out. The three one. Out of play. Three two, here it comes. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Jonathan Papelbon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Jonathan Broxton will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Now here's the first pitch. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice here late in the game, you've got so no sense in trying to force a throw into second base there. You just take the out at first and move on. Scooter Jeanette will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's the first offering. Split finger pitches in there for strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Let's go. Just get the out. He waits. Now the pitch. And that's swung on and missed, so the Brewers are down to their final strike now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. The 0-2 now from Papelbon. Low and away with that one. It's 1-2. One and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on the first. He'll take care of him. And the Phillies bounce back here to take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series as this one is over. Yeah, and you know this whole crowd is going to get to drive home happy as their guys come through with a very good win.
stood out among all others. Why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Well, he winds up with three quarters of...